ready with me for the 119th day of school. I know I've been off the grid and haven't filmed in like three days. I was very, very sick. Also, I guess I need to mention this, but me not going to school because the weather conditions are bad or because I'm not feeling well does not make me a delinquent. And I feel as if we're getting the two confused. Y'all be making it seem like I be at school once a month. If I'm sick, I'm not showing up. Anyway, y'all been wanting me to spill what went down between my mom and my English teacher, which it's not that serious, but I'll tell you anyway. So y'all already know that my English teacher emails my mom whenever I'm late to her class. This is not new information. My mom is a busy woman, so she's not the biggest fan of these emails, especially if I'm one, two, or three minutes late to her class. My mom basically responded to one of the late emails like, listen, can you like wait a little before you email me? I don't really need to know if Rihanna's two minutes late to your class. My English teacher eventually responded like, on that day, Rihanna was later than five minutes, which was surprisingly capped, surprisingly. And I'm aware of what time I got there because I texted my friend at 8.24, like, can you hurry up? There's no purpose in me saying that if I wasn't already in the class. So I told my mom, like, no, I know what time I got there. Got there at 8.22, but okay. Then she decided to double email my mom, didn't even give her a chance to respond. She was like, I'm usually pretty accurate, but it is possible that I've made a mistake today. Either way, there still is no grace period, like she has to be here at 8.20. Know how I said that her last email said it's possible that I've made an error? My mom emails back, and the first thing that she says in the email is, yes, it is possible that you've made an error. My mom reads to me this long email that she sent to her. Something about that double email really did it for her. My mom brought up what I was complaining about for the get ready with me for the 102nd day of school. Then she marked me absent and I was sitting right in front of her. But after my mom's paragraph, my English teacher proceeded to send her four emails, simply apologizing like it wasn't her intention to falsely accuse. She was like, I appreciate having Rayana in my class, like there's no issues. And then she was like, let me know if you need anything else and have a good day. All of that was four emails. Like, there was one whole email for have a good day. I'm so serious. And I texted my mom, like, I think you're starting to scare her a little bit. And my mom was like, I'm sure I did. But we are finished. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. Do my makeup in five minutes challenge. I have to leave here in actually like 15 minutes, but I want to study because I have a huge... <laughs> oh my god. Because I have a huge chapter test that's worth 60 points in AP French, which is like my whole grade. <laughs> I'm leaving Saturday morning for vacation. We were gonna leave tomorrow and then maybe go to Nashville on our way down to Destin, but I told my mom, I was like, that's low-key out of the way and we'd be in the car for like 19 hours in total, so no thank you. And I'm such a Nashville girly, like I want to go there for like my 21st birthday over Vegas. Actually, <laughs> no I don't, but like you know what I'm saying. And I'm not even of age to go there yet, so me and my friend Alana would like be in the hotel room at nine when my grandma and my mom are out partying all night and I'm like, I'd be too jealous. Sue me. But recently, I've been blending in my halo glow with my <laughs> my fingers. Sorry. Okay, fun fact. I went to bed last night at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Lily just texted me. She's already at school. Girl, we got literally almost a full hour till school starts. Why are you at school? <laughs> Contour. Today was spirit week. I mean, this week is spirit week for before spring break. And today's PJ day. But, like, I don't have any cute PJs. I don't. So I'm wearing these Aritzia flare sweats and the sweatshirt. That's like so random. DIY. I'm so sad because I don't think I'm seeing my boyfriend again because I saw him last night and I don't think I'm seeing him again until I leave. Like until I get back from vacation. It's like over a week. Last night was so fun. We just went and got pizza. I literally ate the rest of my pizza after he left my house. I just added way too much concealer for my face for what I wanted to wear today. Uh, Lily just texted me she's gagging into her old Starbucks cup. Because <laughs> she like recently had to get her schedule changed so she has to wake up a lot earlier now. And it's, it's like she said it's like leaving for the airport at 5 a.m. Like that feeling. I hate that feeling. You guys are really close to me today. I don't know if you like this close up angle but it's what you're getting. Sorry about it. Hopefully this bronzer helps because I'm looking really scary right now. I'm looking a little pale. All ready for school? Bye. I think I'm getting my nails done today and going to Target with my mom after school. Okay, bye. I love you. Mm. Do my skincare with me except I can only use one pump of each product. Except this time, I'm going to do it right.
To be honest, I'm very scared to see how this is going to work out. As always, if this gets on your For You page, please put For You page in the comments. It might be shadow band, but I don't know. Okay, so I did one pump of the, not one pump, but one thing of the Glow Recipe Toner. Uh, I love this toner. Now I'm going to use this Bioma Spray, and I can only do one pump. Mm, now I'm going to use this Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist. Done. That was one. I like Loki tried to stretch it out because I was like, eh, I don't know. But now we're going to use the Ordinary. And I like to use a lot of this because it works well. This helps me maintain clear skin. So one. And we're just going to blend it all out. But yeah, make sure to comment for you page. If I can you guys this for you page. Time to go in with a brightening serum. And I'm going to need way more, but I can only do one. Ugh, I hate you guys for giving me such hard challenges sometimes also y'all yeah, look at my nails i don't know if i showed y'all but i did get them done so yeah i have not done a get ready with me for bed in a long time i was also debating on what moisturizer i should use but i'm gonna use the ever e ever eaten one and that was one pump so but i love this moisturizer it smells so good it's blended and y'all comment down below if i should um do a get ready with me for school tomorrow okay now since we're all done i'm just gonna use one pump of hand cream my summer fright is lip balm i love this lip balm and we're gonna do one that was one and sweat it out <laughs> like that that was wonderful one pump of perfume is not gonna be enough though but it's whatever I got it in my oh. stayed all the way to the end. Make sure to comment down below a pink heart. And remember that God loves you and to have a great night. Bye guys. 11 30 at night. Let's get ready for John Summit at Factory Town. I've been up since 8 30. Got to campus at 9. Been doing work all day. Finally found my outfits for Ultra. So excited for this one. I got these boots. It's a whole thing. Stay tuned. I really don't know how. I'm doing this right now. I honestly have a lot of energy. I don't know what that's about. I think it's because I actually rested this weekend and didn't drink or go out and like did wholesome things. This is uncapped in my bag. Not everything is pink. John Summit said is also apparently 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And I do indeed have class at 9.30, which I will be making. Hold me to it. I will document this. Maybe a senior, but I'm still studious. Oh, someone got off the couch. The smell of the fresh Celsius at 11, 28 p.m. Whoa! <laughs> Your makeup is just not makeuping in any way, shape, or form. That is exactly how I feel right now, and I want to literally die. I'm hoping maybe, like, with some powder and, like, more blush, I can, like, make this come together. But it just looks so, like, ranky-danky right now. Like, I feel like everything is just, like, sitting on top of my skin. I literally fucking hate the way this turned out. I know you can't really tell because of the beauty filter on you can I can. I have like so much texture for some reason. Apparently it's gravy. So I should do brown on my waterline. Uh, this is like the biggest contemplation ever. I feel like I have to go for it. I think it's so funny how we just love like poking rise for fun. Right. Oh! Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna get. It's not terrible, but now I need to figure out what I'm doing with... <gasps> okay, bye! Guys, I think I currently look the worst I've ever looked in my life. Let me know why I've woken up with a massive red pimple on my chin. I finally thought I was getting rid of all of them and a massive one has just come. I also have half an hour and I like I look like this. I'm literally throwing on an outfit, but it's the most like wintry outfit ever. Like it's literally finally becoming spring and I've just decided to like dress like what? Anyway, it's fine. I'm just really hoping that the weather stays really nice like it was yesterday because I definitely need the good vibes today. Oh my god, also Glow Recipe sent me a massive PR box again. I'm literally so excited. Because look at this, it's their new Hue Dew Drops and um their normal dew drops and it literally comes with a sunset their new hue drops i'm so excited to try them out and these are original ones i haven't even tried the original ones so i'm so excited and then look this is a literal sunset lamp in the middle a pink glow recipe sunset lamp how mad is that so guys here they are but my face doesn't really match my neck so i'm going to be using the oh my god the hue one this is actually so exciting like i can't believe it oh okay hang on let me get them oh they're like bronzing drops Oh my god, this is so exciting. I don't know if you're meant to put like moisturizer on as well, but I think I'm just gonna rub them in like a serum. Mmm, they smell like watermelon. Okay, this is what the hue drops are looking like. I'm honestly so impressed because normally with like bronzy drops and stuff like that, they go really patchy, but these have literally blended in perfectly. I'm really hoping that in the summer my skin clears up and it's just like a season thing because I actually just like, it doesn't even look that bad on camera, but like up close, like especially up here, like I hate I'm literally in for the whole day this week, but I can't complain because this is the only day of this week that I've been in the whole day. Okay, that was really weird, but you're going in. 
so basically i was meant to wash my hair last night because i washed it like tuesday night and i washed it like every other night but because i've got a party tomorrow i'm gonna wash it tomorrow so now i've literally got the most like so greasy and i don't know what to do like i'm obviously gonna slick it but i don't know how i might just do like a simple half up part and slick because i really want to do like you know like leah roberts like when she does a half up i literally washed the hair tutorial this morning but i don't have any hair mousse and i need to go and buy some today so maybe that'll be for next week i also really need a new beauty blender because this is literally i feel like this is breaking me out because i've had it six months and it actually like it smells i'm not gonna wear like any skin tint or anything because i don't know whether that is i just don't know what's breaking me out at the moment and i just i need ow oh my god it really hurts like, i just want to know what's breaking me out like i don't know how to tell and it's kind of stressing me out it's literally like from the side you're going to be able to see it like it's massive it's also i'm like redecorating my room at the moment so i've ordered last night i ordered like a bookshelf to go like there because i'm taking down all the pictures of harry styles and austin but like end of an era and then i think i'm getting like a new chest of drawers a new mirror i'm like redecorating the whole wall like i'm very excited i think i'm gonna do like a really long vlog of me doing it all but obviously it's all gonna arrive like really different times like i haven't even started looking at everything else and something's already arriving so i don't really know how it's gonna work okay i'm gonna use some freckle tin i know i'm gonna regret it but i don't care so i didn't say but i am driving in today so i need to go and pick up libby in a bit um because it's just so much easier than getting the train although i'm spending so much money on petrol it's actually a joke okay i put the freckles on so i'm now going to do my mascara so i have a party tomorrow and then i'm going to like a gathering with my friends on saturday tonight i literally need to have like the fattest reset ever it's a scrub off all my tan to be fair this i put on last friday and it hasn't even gone that patchy i love this tan so much it's the baddest bod one honestly recommend it to everyone it's the nicest color this is just one layer and it was such a good color why my tan is definitely questionable in some other areas but it's fine okay so i'm now going to take my freckles off and then do blush i feel like i really need to get like my life together over these holidays and don't even say because i know i say it every single time i have time off college but like it's actually a joke because i have massive like um progression exams after easter which like determine my grades that go towards uni like why am i really thinking about unis like i literally feel like i just left school like i hate it i don't know recently i've just been feeling really like all over the place i think it's because i always get like this like the weeks leading up to easter because i literally break up next week like i just feel really all over the place so i need to just like get my life to give up but it's fine because i have two and a half weeks to do so but i just need to do so much revision i'm gonna try and do like revision during the day and then do something in the evening because i don't want to just be in revising the whole time especially in year 12 like that's so boring oh i also really need to start saving my money because if i have like if i have any hope of doing fun stuff all summer i need to start saving Okay, I think makeup's done, so I'm just gonna slick back my hair, put some more concealer on this spot because something's gotta get rid of it. Hey guys, I've managed to put it up in like a mini bun, but I don't know whether it will look better just like out and down. Do you get what I mean? But I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and then we'll see. Hey guys, that is hair makeup done and I need to do perfume. And today I'm gonna go with my Zara Red Temptation. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick fit check. So here's the outfit. Do you get what I mean when I'm saying it's very like winter kind of outfit? The jacket's from Zara tops from zara and jeans are from white fox i think i'm gonna wear it with my superstars but i really need to get them in black because i have them in white with the black stripes but i really want them in black guys yeah that is my finished outfit back of the hair i can't really see so it's like not my problem right now anyway i hope everyone has a good day and i'll see you later bye only a week into february and february is already starting to february i swear everything is just 10 times more draining and it sucks look at my eye bags what is going on ever since the first day of february hit i've lost my streak of getting up early in the morning i've literally just been like taking naps in class when i like was really doing good on staying focused also i've just been wearing sweatpants and hoodies the entire week also since february hit i haven't had the motivation to clean my room so it's an absolute disaster i don't know what it is but no one can tell me that i'm wrong in saying that february is the worst month of the year at least if you live in michigan everything is just gray and cold and this month takes forever for some reason even though it usually has like shorter days doesn't it i don't even know but yesterday i had my first mock trial scrimmage and it was so nerve-wracking but i have to do it again tonight i was an attorney yesterday i feel like it went good but we were literally there for like two and a half hours so i'm at my school until 7 30 so much homework to tonight i have meetings scheduled i had to cancel a meeting for my mock trial and like i just want to crawl up in my bed and take a nap should have been practicing for like the last 30 minutes but i have been in bed on tiktok because i am so tired i don't want to go do this well if my teacher is watching for some reason i do want to go do this i'm just really tired so yeah i know i can't be the only one Ugh, this rear beauty spray gives me life it smells like lemons in awakeness and like mm. i don't know what i'm gonna wear because i'm a witness so i don't have to wear my suit today if i don't want to i didn't even want to wear jeans to school today let's be real i'm not gonna be wearing a suit tonight i'm also too lazy to do my hair so i think i'm just gonna put it in a ponytail she's just gonna break my hair because i like the waves that i got going tomorrow is gonna be a reset day for me like i need to clean my room and get my stuff back on track because i hate feeling tired at school i went through my entire junior year feeling that way like miserable and tired all the time at school and i've been doing good this year 
feeling good so far or at least like the second semester i have a lot of homework tonight but i'm gonna try and get in bed early my teachers have been assigning some crazy assignments lately one teacher has one teacher has one teacher has more homework assigned to us than i should have all my classes combined if i got homework assigned so yeah i almost just don't want to do it my suit pants are in the car so i'll put those on later but i'm just gonna wear those and like a sweater Hope you guys have a good day and your week hasn't been as crappy as mine, but this is your sign to get your stuff back together in case you're falling apart. Because February is a tough one. We gotta hold each other accountable out here. So yeah, peace out. Love you. Bye. Hey guys. Does anyone else's face just feel like so like dry? Like, I just... My face just feels so dry. Anyways, get ready with me. Um, so I have a question. Who decided to get everyone sick? Like, please just reveal yourself because tell me why. None of my friends can hang out because they all have, like, really bad... Bro, my pants! What I was saying, all my friends have, like, really bad colds. Like, to the point where they, like, literally can't breathe. Okay, wait. I think I, I think they can breathe. But I mean, like, they all have, like, they'll face... I mean, every five seconds... Like, they are literally so sick. And I had, like, a pretty kind of bad cold, like, last week. But it went away, and I've been inside, like, literally all of winter break, so I don't know. Maybe they just need to stop getting colds, you know? Like, just don't. My face still feels, like, so dry. Like, normally my face feels, like, oily, and it's not. Who freaking, like, what did I do? Like, maybe it's because it's cold. But it hasn't even been that cold. Like, it was literally, like, 60 degrees during Christmas. Which isn't, like, hot, but, like, for winter, like, what? And we didn't get any snow last winter, so can we please get some, like, coldness? Like, at least a little bit of snow would be, like, really, really appreciated. I don't know, but has anyone been doing anything their winter break? Like, I feel like I literally have been doing nothing, like, all winter break. Okay, I need to stop spilling everything on my pants. Anyways, I'm going to see family in, like, two hours, but I just wanted to get ready. Uh, I think I put a little too much. Okay, I'm a little tan. And you know what? I haven't literally worn it in so long. Like, I haven't tried concealer on it in, like, 5 million years. So we're gonna try it because I used to hate it. Like, it just made my face look weird. But who knows? Maybe I'll start wearing concealer again. I remember you guys used to, like, literally get on me because I used to, like, rub it in instead of dab. I don't know if I see a difference. I mean, like, there's definitely, like, a little difference. But I think tomorrow I'm gonna try again when I don't have a million tanning drops on. I mean, I'm, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Does anyone else have, like, like that one really rich aunt? Like, I don't know, but my aunt, she has a freaking gym in her basement. So I love going to her house. Also, my cousins, I love seeing them. And her, of course, and my uncle. Guys, I look a little, um, silly right now. I think it was definitely too much bronzy drop. I don't know, but I really, guys, like, I need to up my makeup game and everything. I feel like I just have not been looking so delicious lately. Like, I just have not been looking cute. And I feel like we need to fix that problem. So let me like look delicious, you know? Sorry, not delicious. Bro, I want to go to Goodwill so bad. Like, I just want to thrift. I My face still feels dry. I probably shouldn't have put on so much makeup. But it's whatever. Okay, but like, makeup's kind of eating. Why am I going bald? Hey guys, get ready with me for school. Do teachers like actually think that we remember the stuff we did last year? Because who actually remembers that? Like, I'm doing this review in math right now, and I know nothing. And my teacher's like, okay, here's, like, a review worksheet, like, working out on your own. But I'm over here knowing none of this, like, trying to search up how to find this answer. And on top of me getting all these answers wrong on this worksheet, we literally have a review test on Friday. Like, I'm in pre-calc right now, so I'm not trying to have my first pre-calc grade be, like, an F. And I already know that I'm not gonna do good on this test because I'm getting everything on the worksheet wrong. Okay, well, I'm not getting, like, everything wrong, but I'm not getting everything right. Like, there's some stuff that I know, but a lot of it is, like, new to me. I'm like, hello? Like, either I forgot everything that I learned last year, or, like, there's stuff I just was not taught last year. And, like, this math teacher barely teaches. Like, she'll just give us a worksheet and she's like, okay, working on your own. Like, I am a very visual learner, so my teacher doing this helps me in no way, and I am productive in zero ways. Like, if I don't see the problem getting, like, solved in steps, I'm probably never going to understand the problem. 
And this is why I failed Algebra 1 eighth grade here, because my teacher gave us worksheets and we're just like, okay, do it. And I so vividly remember in eighth grade getting a zero on a test and just absolutely crying because I had no idea what was going on and my teacher just wouldn't teach. And everybody says that junior year is like your hardest year, so I am so excited. And pre-calc is supposed to be super hard, so I am not trying to start the like school year off with a bad grade in pre-calc. I also have a mini jewelry haul coming tomorrow, so just be prepared for that. My lashes are eating right now. I love how well if this one looks. This one's like a little janky, but whatever. I'm gonna use um this lip gloss because oh she is so so gorgeous. This eyelash looks fucking terrible, and I don't know how to fix it. Honestly, give up. Like why do they all come together? If you want to smell absolutely amazing, you use these two because. I got so many compliments. I'm literally wearing like pajamas to school, but I don't care. That's it. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Get my makeup with me to go to Wednesday night service. I don't know why, but God kind of just placed on my heart when I was driving in the car to go to a Wednesday night service tonight. And I know that's for a reason. So I'm going to go. I don't usually go to Wednesday night services. I always just go to Sundays only been to wednesday night services like maybe two to three times in my life i looked online and it said it starts at six so i have like 30 minutes also not even going with anyone uh i'm just going alone i feel like that's good though um i don't get me wrong i love going with my family or my boyfriend but i feel like there's really no distraction and i really just want to focus on what he's saying oh so to be honest i'm excited i can't wait i'm really hoping that i like what he has to say today like, i hope it catches my attention and i'm really really into it if i'm being completely honest sometimes i'm sitting in church and i don't understand like what's going on and that's why like i need to go to like a bible study i think me and my mom are going to start going to bible study a little bit more just so i can understand a little bit better because i hate when i don't understand like what's going on you know what i mean also i am so white this is the maximum whiteness that i will get like i I'm a ghost. I'm in desperate need of like tanning drops or something because I watched my video back that I posted today and I look so white in this lighting. Oh, it's so bad. I'm not saying that being like super pale is a bad thing, but I just personally don't like it on me. I also don't really understand how I have so much energy because I just got off of school. I think it's because I'm not on my cycle and I'm feeling like more energized. Okay, I always put this highlighter on, right? But it comes off like right after I put it on. Like I feel like you never can tell that I'm wearing highlighter throughout my day because the amount of times I wipe my nose because there's like it's itchy or there's hair in it. There's just like no point in putting highlighter on. But I'm doing it for the video. I added a little bit of this Rare Beauty blush. I don't know if you could really tell, but now I'm putting on um, mascara. I already have some on, but I'm just like retouching it up. And then I think I'm also going to put my hair up. Um, I don't know. I feel like having your hair up with a sweater is cute, so we're going to do that. Okay, so I put my hair in this little claw clip. Then now I'm going to put my Laneige on. And then I'm going to show you the full outfit right now. Okay, so... This is the outfit. These are Uggs. I have my jeans from Amazon. And then this sweater from American Eagle. And I'm ready to go. I hope you guys have a great night. Guys, I've been looking for like Hailey Bieber's necklace for the longest time. She always wears that really big like bee necklace. And I keep finding places that would sell it, but I couldn't find any. But finally, like last week, I just saw this place that sells them okay this is the brand ep jewels i'll also tag them in the caption but they make like the jumbo um initial necklaces in like every letter oh my god I'm so <gasps> oh my gosh this is so much cuter in person they unfortunately didn't have silver which really sucks because i know there's so many like silver girlies but thankfully i like mix and match gold and silver all the time so i was like okay then this is like literally perfect look at how pretty it is like the little details and everything okay wait i want to put it on this is the length it's not super long but let's see this is so cute wait is it inverted i can't tell okay it's not it just looks like it because the camera flips it it's literally so cute my little kate is in the back it's like big sister little sister obsessed hey guys get ready with me for school this morning i woke up and i could barely even move my face of how dry it is so you already know we're gonna be doing hydrating skincare today. But I ran out of all my hydrating serum, so I'm just gonna put on this salicylic acid one for my acne. I have two tests today, and I had a test yesterday. I don't feel ready at all, but we're just gonna, you know, push through. Because I honestly think that if I don't know the material now, I'm never gonna know it, so... If I don't know it by now, it's too late. So, yeah, let's just push through these tests. 
room is literally so empty right now because we move in we move tomorrow actually i think so my room is so empty right now because we're in the process of moving obviously so it just looks so depressing in here right now because there's like nothing up on my walls anymore i'm not gonna do too much makeup but i am gonna put some elf power grip for my concealer because i want my concealer to stay obviously mom told me that my new vanity came in for my new room so that is gonna be super exciting and yes, I will be giving y'all a vanity tour and a room tour once we settle in. Okay, I just did both my brows, so I'm gonna go do a few dots of concealer. Did y'all hear that that, like, one family, like, TikTok channel or whatever, they're having a fifth kid? Now, personally, if I had five kids, I would want up myself. Her, like, last name or whatever, it starts with, like, an L or something, but literally, someone needs to give that mom a break. Like, five kids is insane. I really hope I don't have any tests tomorrow so I can at least have like a one day break because I have another test on Friday. So yeah, let's just hope that I don't have a test tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go do my mascara off camera. Okay, lashes are all done. So I'm gonna go do my hair now because this is a mess. You guys know I've been using the Function of Beauty Pro shampoo and conditioner, but they're coming off the new product. It's the Bond Repair Custom Leave-In Treatment. I just started using it and it helps with like frizz control, boosts shine, and is also a heat protectant. It is basically an all-in-one product. And of course, it's customizable. I want a fashion week tomorrow, so I want my hair to be really nice and shiny. So I'm using the Shine Queen as my concentrate today. You can also use it on dry hair if you want to just get that instant shine. You don't have to wash it off, which is like the best part. Like my hair is already getting so shiny. Oh my gosh. Like look at this side compared to this side of my hair without. Perfect for on the go. Talk about some more things I'm addicted to. Don't forget to tell me something you're addicted to in the comments. Try to like keep it appropriate, you know? I have kids watching. I love getting packages so much that when me and my boyfriend are in the car and I pass a house that has a package, I'll be like, oh, they have a package on their doorstep. And my boyfriend's like, you can't open it. I love beverages. Mocktails before bed, bloom in the morning. And it has to be cute. Like my aesthetic little ice in my bloom butterfly cup. You guys take your pets everywhere. I take my cute beverage. Strawberry Kiwi Bloom is hands down the best grains I've ever had in my life. I am addicted to explaining the meaning of songs to people, especially my boyfriend. This might sound corny. I am addicted to the feeling of like giving somebody a compliment, but like a meaningful one, like making their day. I feel like I used to be a little awkward to give somebody a random compliment. Hear me out. Tell the most random person something like, I like your bracelet or your hair looks really good today. And their smile is so meaningful. I am addicted to getting my nails done. I don't see a day where I won't have a full set on. Like it could just be polished, but I hate looking at my red your fingernails. I love the feeling of when somebody you went to high school with, whether y'all are close now or we're super close then, sends you a Snapchat memory. Like I always send them out to people because it means a lot to me when I get them that, I don't know, you're thinking of them. I don't know. I love that. This is the makeup look for today. Don't forget to tell me one of your little addictions below in the comments.